Hi, I am Rahul and today we are going to design a brand new character for my comic book. So a little bit of the character that we are designing today is uh, he is a prince. Uh, his name is Theo and uh, he is the only child of the king and he is supposed to be crowned as the king but he, uh, due to some circumstances he is forced to go into exile along with the princess uh, that is his wife so he has to go into hiding and he has to blend in and uh, he is sort of a fighter warrior kind of thing he is uh, trained in uh, combat so he always uh, keeps some uh, weapon as self-defense I already have an idea in mind of how I am going to draw this character. He is going to be humanoid and uh, sort of have an alien look because this world is a new kind of place, is not earth and uh, let's see how that goes and I wanted to show you the process of how I go about drawing the first pose of the character uh, so that I, I can put my ideas on paper and then uh, go out from there. People often ask me where I get references for uh, drawing character poses and I often answer that I buy a lot of books. Uh, I like buying these comic books uh, which are which have a lot like this is a graphic novel with a ton of poses like there's always something that you could find for your characters and then there are art books and this is one of my favorite it's by Derek Lofman and uh, you have tons of references of poses I like referring to poses from art books I often take references from uh, live uh, poses even from Pinterest uh, and then again from art books like this like for this character I, I, uh, I really liked uh, this pose so I'm going to use this and draw my own character in this pose yeah let's begin now when you are drawing from reference the most important thing is to get the line of action correct once that is done you need to get down all the major details as loosely as possible keeping in mind where the weight of the character is. Here I am adding the volume of the character too as I have visualized the style of the character in my head. I build upon the sketch drawing the eyes and the outfit that I have decided him to wear. Next I took a photo of my sketch with the ipad and added uh, drew again over it and added a lot of details that i wanted now this character is a prince who has gone into hiding so i uh, wanted uh, like this is not his royal outfit uh, that is another design i have to do but i wanted to add like a bit of a rugged look i wanted belts leather belts and you know shoulder pads and this is the staff that he uses but it is uh, collapsed into this thing he can uh, add on his uh, belt it maybe it attaches magnetically i don't know and then he has gloves and and also i wanted to add uh, like uh, wraps maybe this is for protecting his feet he also uh, now his feet are open but he can also uh, use shoes um, like i wanted to keep it open so that this uh, skin tone gets uh, um, you can see the skin tone down also and i have this vision of coloring this guy but that comes after inking so let's ink first as you can see here i have done a lot more poses of the character before i decided to move over to the inking process i lower the opacity of the sketch layer and create a new layer to start the inking here i am using the dry ink brush that is a default in procreate and I am adjusting the brush size according to my need. I 
I start my inking process and I will go over the entire sketch with a steady hand refining all my lines that I had done before. Here Procreate helps a lot as it smoothens out your strokes. In this way I go over the entire sketch refining every stroke and uh, here let me speed up the process of inking and see you back in a while. Now that I have refined my sketch and done the inking, uh, I have this color palette set up. I always imagine this character as a sort of blue alien, think like Avatar or uh, uh, there's a game called Mass Effect which has a race called Asari and uh, they have this blue skin tone too with tentacles growing out of it. So I wanted something unique so I gave him these ears. Uh, maybe they are ears, maybe it's sort of an aquatic extension but then so I have a color palette set up here which I also got from an art book uh, and these colors go really well so this is for the uh, skin tone then these are for the clothes, the leather, the main color and the accent and then I have uh, this for the eyes and uh, this for the metal parts. So let's start coloring this guy now. Coloring my artwork is my favorite process. I create a new layer for each color. All the color layers are below the inking layer and each color is in a separate layer so that I can easily edit the colors later if need be. Let me just speed up the process of coloring now. After all the colors are filled, I create a new layer on top of all the color layers and assign it to multiply and uh, I use this as a layer to create all my shadows. I am using a light purple color for my shadow layer. If you do not understand where the shadow should be, try to imagine a light source in one direction over your artwork. So here my light source is on the top left corner so I paint all the shadows accordingly.
I create a new layer for the highlights. I am using a pure white color with lower opacity and I add the highlights at specific spots uh, depending on the light source and it makes the character feel like he has a wet and shiny skin. I also add highlights around the character to make him pop from the background. And here's the finished character. In the meantime, I have also colored the rest of the poses so that I have this cool looking character sheet. These character sheets that I'm drawing for the characters of my comic book will be going into my art book. So keep an eye out for the art book launching very soon. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little drawing session and um, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, keep a lookout for the comic book uh, that will be launching soon for pre-orders. Find more of my work on my Instagram page, link is in the description and uh, until next time, bye bye.